30 in the morning and I'm about to go to Games Expo with the Moonstone crew which is very exciting. It's very early in the morning. I'm very tired already. About to drive away to Birmingham. It's very exciting stuff though. This is my living room. Yeah. We're gonna do a blog video all the way through the weekend um, to share with you all how we get on. Um, I'll also add some extra bits in just what I've been doing around the Games Expo, things that we see, things that I see, should be good. I'm really excited, <laughs> very excited. Um, yeah, this is just the first bit of it, hope you enjoy. 6.30 in the morning, I've uh, been driving for about an hour and a half, just stopped somewhere. Uh, I am tired, I'm tired. Still looking forward to today though. Got the most important stone thing, there it is, yeah, yeah. So just arrived at our spot, there's our thingy. Tom and Richie have just gone to go and find a table for our demos. Yeah, exciting stuff. Got a badge. Got a badge. Look, it's me, the exhibitor. It's looking very geeky in here. I can almost smell the geek already. There's always a certain odour. It's pungent in here. Here we are, we're set up. Hey guys. We're here. We're going to get going. Exciting shit this is. Table's up. Stock. Loads of it. Loads to sell. Exciting stuff. Hello, this is Richie from Goblin King Games, and you're on the oldie battle maps. And we're here with Dan and Tom, and we are playing Moonstone. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if, you, uh, if, you, if you haven't guessed, we are currently at the UK Games Expo. Um, really excited about that. I know Dan's very happy to be here, aren't you, Dan? I am very happy to be here. Getting <laughs> up at 3.30 in the morning was still working. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so we've got Dan the man versus Tom the... Man? <laughs> also man. <laughs> <laughs> and we have currently going on, we've got... Goblins with the Troll Bolter and Fairies with Gutch Gods. So this is going to be a how many rounds are we talking? Three. It's a three round game with five stones. Let the bell ring. Ding ding. Right, so me and Tom have just finished turn one. We'll just do a little summary at the end of each turn so you can actually see what our game's happening. Um, it, my guys all just moved up, got to go up, picked up a di uh, diamond, a moonstone. Did a couple of fizzle pops, took a wound off Doug, failed my fizzle pop on Midget. Tom's got crazy town and tried to move his terrain, but drew a catastrophe. So I moved this in front of Boulder, which is kind of annoying for him and hilarious for me. And he's just kind of moved everyone around here. This is what it looks like at the end of turn one. Right, so halfway through turn two. So far, oops, not going over. Three has done a fizzle pop and done one damage. Beaky's healed. Doug failed to... <laughs> Doug failed miserably to try and dig that up. <laughs> Beaky uh, dug that up a little bit and now Diana is just screwing this guy over. So far she's nicked all his energy yeah, and, give, to and give it to herself. She's now about to try and yeah, horrifying vision him to death hopefully. So Diana's just... She gained all the energy off Midget and she did two horrifying visions. Got three on the first one, one on the second one. It's enough to kill him. So he's dead. <laughs> okay, so end of turn two. Off the midget's dead. And basically I've just pushed you around everywhere. So Butterfingers came into the middle and just did one damage and pushed him off that moonstone. Did one damage and pushed him off that moonstone. So just pushed everyone around really. Got to just gone up there. Tried to uh... Yeah, good ball that tried to move up to calcify these two but pushed him away. And got to go up just jogged and reduces by one. So a little summary of this little bit here, bit of turn three. Butterfingers moved up to the Moonstone and Beaky moved in to intercept him. So I decided to do three melee attacks on him. And this was my last one I just did. And he's dead. It's a bit 
it mean? So Butterfingers just killed someone in melee. I don't think that's ever happened before, ever, or ever again. <laughs> okay, we're at the end of turn three, well not the end. Technically three has got to activate, but there's no way to happen. I tried to move Diana in just to try and hit the troll, but actually he hit her back harder, so um, we called at the end of turn three. I've got two Moonstones on Gotchka. He's got one on Doug, but not really any way of gaining any more. So it's a game for me. <laughs> Yay. Um, I think I think my build worked well against your build. I think he didn't look much man of the match though. <laughs> yeah, he was so a legend. He stopped you getting both those moves done by physical phys popping you and then yeah. going to kill Beaky. He's definitely my, my fairy of the match. Um, yeah, that's quite a fun game though. It was nice to use different. I've, I, haven't, I haven't used him before. All oh, Gotchka of course. That's quite fun to use those. How do you feel? Uh, well, obviously I let you in. Because... Yeah, obviously, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the only possible way to let you Of course, I believe you. Yeah. I don't believe him. <laughs> yeah, I think a combination of losing the midget before I could activate. Yeah. Um, actually, I think getting the catastrophe on him was pretty brutal because it meant you had to heal him. Almost, and not to get the moonstone. I was a bit careless in turn one by moving just inside your range. Yeah. Did. Like push me off the low stones, so then I was yeah. really in a bit of energy in the second turn, so I had to use my job to get some contact with them. Yeah. And all of those magical damages going through the rest of my gym, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so our second game, me against Tom again. Hello, Tom. Um, we're doing Sleepy Heads. Same scenario, basically, as a basic scenario, but a bit, a bit more unfair, as Tom has said. So people turn up, flip an arcane card, people turn up at a doorway as if they're waking up. So Tom has flipped the Baron. Uh, I think you're going to go and drop that by one, or by two. Indeed, yeah. So end of our dull turn one. <laughs> Midget just moves up and sucks it up a little bit and Doug just legs it over here. Right, let's see who turns up next turn. So uh, Tom got the first turn and he put Flintlock in, in base contact with the inside of this door. Sneaky bastard. And moved into there. And he brought Eric on, who then went and got a moonstone. So I decided to put Boulder next to him. <laughs> yeah. Shoot your gun now, dickhead. <laughs> End of turn two. Uh, it's a bit dull, really, but he picked up moonstones here. Doug picked up his moonstone. Mick picked up his moonstone, and they've just stepped in towards this one. Flintlock tried to shoot Boulder in the nuts, but catastrophe, didn't it? Because he didn't have a card of the bluff. Um, and now can't do the rest of the game. Don't think that's an issue, is it, but not. <laughs> and he tra traversed through the window and bombs are traversed through the door. So he's a bit unhappy where he is right now. <laughs> so end of turn and three, we're calling it here because someone else has a demo. It's kind of looks like this, really. So Everyone's piling into the middle. So that's your traditional yeah, fairy. Done. So yeah. I've won again. <laughs> yeah, you won again. Yeah. Right. So this is the end of the first day. Um, we're all exhausted. <laughs> Yeah. Because we all got up really early. Oh yeah. To, to get here. What time are you up, Pritchie? <laughs> Two o'clock in the yeah, morning. Yeah, I think, I think nice. Richie beats, beats it. Uh, I got up three thirty in the morning, and that felt pretty awful. Yeah. I yeah. yeah. kind of want to die. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been really nice to meet you two guys. Yeah, it's been great. Nice. Yeah. We talked a lot online. It's actually been my highlight. <laughs> yes. No, thank you. It's been yeah. It's a great game. It's really nice to come and see the makers of it and as you'll see saw earlier in the video obviously me and Tom had a couple of games and that was really that was really good fun and uh, it's nice to thrash him twice as well so how many times are going to mention that I'm going to mention this a fair few before we get to the end of this video <laughs> just one um, yeah we did, did a couple of our demos of people it's, it's been um, yeah it's been alright it's a big place in there, isn't it? It's huge. It's massive. Huge it's there. really it's I mean, really cool this is, I mean also, Ali, this is all of our first time there isn't it? yeah it's the first time I've been here yeah, yeah. And I, I didn't even venture out of our hall, there's a whole other hall. No. Yeah. I got to meet Ian Livingstone, serve Ian Livingstone, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> he shook my hand. <laughs> anyway. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's it really for, for, for the first day. It's just kind of setting up and finding our feet really, wasn't it? So, yeah, um, I mean, the, obviously the first hour was hard and stressful. but Yeah, um, yeah get, getting everything in, counting it, setting it up, finding a table. And just yeah, um, but yeah, it's been but yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was it was very different to what I expected. 
I mean, you mentioned about the variety of stalls compared to, like, say, Salute, for example. How everyone is selling something drastically different compared to Salute, which, don't get me wrong, I love Salute. It's an awful lot of more of the same, more of the same. Yeah, there's a lot of tabletop mm. gaming. There's yeah. A lot, there's a lot, a lot of board games here. Yeah. Um, and a lot of cosplay. And a lot of cosplay. I was, I was very I'm impressed by some of the cosplay stuff that was on sale. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll, like I'll a massive sort of, dragon skull. That was pretty uh, cool. I was really pleased to see um, there was a character from one of the computer games. Like, oh. Mass Effect? Mass Effect. The Krogan. Krogan, yeah. I, I like, yeah, shouted out Krogan, Krogan to him. Krogan. Krogan. And, he, and he gave you a little yeah. response. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Krogan! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of my favourite games I've ever played, Mass Effect. So I was really blessed, quite genuinely pleased to see a Krogan walking around. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's been quite fun walking around, walking around actually, and seeing all the stuff that's mm. on offer. Um, I, I checked out the Steam Forge uh, stall. I saw my friend Steve, who's there, which is nice to see him again. Um, I checked out Seven oh, Getty. I had a chat with him as well. Steve. We mentioned you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he used to live. He used to live in in Norwich, and we used to we used to play Guildhall quite a lot. Yeah. So we used to click Guildhall Club, which was fun. And now he's working for Steam Forge, jetting all over the world. No. Nice. So got back in Canada and Norway. And so I was like, wow, man, you nice. Right, we're so. living the dream. <laughs> he really Give it time, well, mate. We brought, we brought you to Birmingham. So. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, <we'll> <laughs> yeah. Who's the real winner here, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's been great. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll round, that, round it off here. But it's just, yeah, I think for today, the highlights really is the meeting you guys and setting up and meeting yeah, a few absolutely. people and having a wander around. So cool, we're going to get some beers. Very much It's very beer. important. <laughs> um, some food, I think, as well. And probably an early night, actually. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I think probably an early night tonight, and because um, then get how much sleep we've all had, and get on, get on it in the morning. Rock and roll! All right. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, here for day two. No one, no, the public aren't in yet, but. There were big queues outside, really big queues outside. All right, now that these two have finally rocked up, we can... Uh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. 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 We feel... watching we, me live we, tweeting. Yeah, we all feel a lot better after having had some sleep, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looked busy outside, like I said earlier, so it's an exciting day ahead, I think. Oh, so the first game of today is a creator off. Tom Ritchie are playing, they're playing Sleepyheads again. Uh, so Gotchka and the Baron came on first. Uh, and got to put Moonstone and then, and then Tom put Boulder next to the Baron and just gave him a big hug. Very big it hug. It was very really, big hug. really and warm. And eight, yeah. A six wound hug. A six wound hug. He <laughs> um, went down to a four wound hug but then he uh, just punched the balls after that uh, and did three damage. So he's got one health left. One health. He's not overly happy about it either. Oh, he's fine. So after that, the Baron tried to hit him back and did two damage. Hey, so uh, Tom here. So Flintlock uh, came up to this window, spied Fiki, who was on his way to pick up this stone after having foul gassed uh, the Baron to death, uh, marched over to the stone, and then got shot in the face. <laughs> Boulder uh, wandered up to that stone and started singing his uh, beautiful stone songs. Uh, very poorly yeah. uh, because the stone didn't budge it stayed on a four so he would have been better just spending his two energy trying to dig it up so the vicious midget um, used his where'd you come from to teleport right behind uh, Gotchka and uh, poke him up the berm um, <laughs> it didn't go so well for the midget he <laughs> he ended up taking three wounds um, he did knock five off Gotchka um, but you know he's he's a big fat guy he can, he can take it uh vicious midget uh didn't like being stuck by uh gotcha Gut's butt any longer so he where'd you come from up into this building it's just getting quite crowded and uh groin tickled uh flint lock uh for two damage the Vicious Midget uh, got finished by Flintlock. Yep. Flintlock was hoping to take some of Eric's assistance in reloading his weapon to uh, fire out these guys that are creeping up into position to pick up stones. Um, but basically they, they exhausted themselves on the Midget and now they're stuck in this building for another <laughs> turn. Uh, these two 
uh, slugged out and took a few chunks off one another. It went a lot worse for Gotchka than Boulder. Uh, and I imagine there's going to be a ding 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 round two coming up imminently. Uh, Doug the flatulent um, dug up the stone that was right in front of him and then started uh, running away like a sneaky goblin, who'd have thought it, uh, down the road back to his village. Um, over here we got these two very badly wounded big guys knocking lumps out of one another. I think Boulder's got four wounds left, Gotchgut's got three. Gotchgut's got no energy, Boulder's only got one. They're absolutely exhausted by this epic battle. However, Richie doesn't want to see the outcome. He's decided to concede because he really can't win the game now at this stage. So here we are halfway through day two. Pretty packed in here. Tom's just sitting there doing a, doing a demo. Um, quite a lot more in per so far today, which is great. And yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Hi, so it's the end of day two at the Games Expo. Um, not did anyone near as much filming today because we were a lot busier at the, at the stand. Did loads of demos. I don't know how the sales were, but loads of demos. Um, this little bit of video is just actually just for me, really. Um, Tom and Richie have just popped out of the shop to get some coke, as in drink, not drugs. <laughs> um, I thought I'd just share a bit about what I actually played and what I bought, because I did play some different things. So I bought some Guild Ball stuff, which actually is the first time I've bought Guild Ball stuff in quite a long time. Um, so I bought the New Alliances. Uh, I'll be having Bet Minx and Harriet for my Hunters and Engineers. Jack will have um, Honor and Gutter for Farmers and but Butchers, respectively, and I'll probably sell um, Hemlock and decimate because neither of us have brewers or morticians so it makes sense. What pride as well because I'm a goalkeeper for um, unions a bit also. Hello guys. Hello. No, you're right, you're right. I just do a bit of a side by something I think they just come up. <laughs> so, right. Uh, what game plan deck and I got some free tokens. Bought the second edition uh, Birth and Badges book which I'm quite excited about and also got some terrain which to be fair I'm probably just going to use a moonstone um, which is kind of cool. Chopping block, uh, a cauldron and a well. I got a free miniature with it, little mouse dude. And then I've gone really off piste with this one. I never thought I'd buy a game like this. This is a card game called Serengeti. Um, might might preview it on the channel at some point if Jack wants to play it. It's a game about conservation. Um, yeah, that's what I got. We'll probably do a chat with the other guys in a second now they're back. Right, end of uh, day two. Uh, we're in the pub, which is important for us. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we spent a good four and a half hours yesterday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yesterday, because I don't know if I'd said this on the previous video, we all got up very early on Friday morning yeah, to get in here. Richard got up about two in the morning, yeah. the Anton got up about three thirty in the morning and, and travelled to get to the venue in time. So we were all very really tired last night. For some reason, even though we were all really tired last night, we still sat at the pub for five hours <laughs> till I was eleven. <laughs> Um, we were having a good time. It was good, it was not, good company. It was great company. It was, it was really nice. Um, so today it was manically busy. Yeah. So a lot of people. It was it non-stop. It, it wasn't as hot, I don't think. No, like, Yesterday was absolutely boiling. Um, like melting hot. Today it wasn't quite as hot. We did a lot of demos. Yeah. Some really, really cool people. Yeah. Some yeah. Really, nice really, people really nice people. people. I, think we, I think we were demoing pretty much on it. Yeah. yeah. There were like a couple of 10 minute gaps at the most, but we basically had people playing the game pretty much solidly. Um, including, you know, we had people playing each other, which yeah. was really fun. Yeah. Um, and everyone seemed to enjoy the game. Definitely sort of a couple of people that played with us that I just thought, you guys are really fun. They were wicked, yeah. Uh, hopefully they'll find us on which, Facebook. Which ultimately, you know, I mean, sales aside, ultimately, you know, playing with core people and having a good time is the core foundation of the game. Yeah, definitely. It's a really fun game to play with your friends. Um, and I think we got that across to a lot of people that we demoed with. Yeah. It's really fun to play with people. I love it when you're demoing and people have a proper belly laugh. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something... yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, ah, because yeah. I just screwed you over yeah. and you attacked me. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Those, moments, those, those are the best. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to tomorrow as well. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow will be a good day. Yeah, yeah. So many people have, have kind of come and tried out the game and uh, have said, oh, we'll be back. So it'd be nice to see them all again. Yeah, yes. and a few people did actually come back today, which is really yeah. nice. Because it, we're, we're, we're skeptical about people actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because we had a lot of people saying that on Friday, oh, I'll come back, and they didn't. And today people did come back. Yes. They did come back and they bought stuff, and that was really nice to see. So they'd obviously come 
played a game or seen it being played or heard the rules, gone, okay, I'm going to have to pay everywhere else, gone everywhere else, realised they wanted to spend the money yeah. Yeah, on Moonstone, come back yeah, and spend their money. Just yes. Conference. Just had a little conference because there's a lot in there. There's so much awesome cosplay today as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, didn't, I didn't see the Covid today. Uh, no, but there I, I, I did um, see the guy, he was walking around, was but he, he was only wearing the boots. He was only wearing the feet, yeah. So, so yesterday we saw, um, I'll just fill that in because I don't know what that is. Um, one of my favourite computer games I played is Mass Effect, um, and a character called a Krogan is made in it. And there was a guy walking around yesterday in a Krogan outfit, and it made me very happy. Yeah, same. <laughs> um, but yeah, there was some awesome cosplay yesterday. So yeah, there was a lot more cosplay yesterday than there was yesterday. I saw a, I saw a Death Watch guy. Oh really? Uh, space, yeah, space being Death Watch. He looked really cool. But he was standing next to a girl in, in basically a bikini, so I didn't really look at him. <laughs> Um, Does your wife watch this? No, she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, she had, yeah, yeah. It was, like, it, was, it, was like, yeah it was a woman in basically yeah, in plate armour, but it was well shaped. <laughs> um, so the guy in Death Watch, he looked cool, but he wasn't what I was looking at. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's been a really, it's, I've enjoyed today a lot. I'm a little bit tired, but like, like yesterday, we, yesterday we were tired and our legs were hurting, our feet were hurting. They my voice is hurting. Yeah. Yes. Which I think is a sign that we did a lot of talking to a lot of people. Yeah. Um, it was really good. And also, I feel that as weird as it sounds, my brain is hurting as well. Yeah. A lot of thinking, a lot of you know, analysing, you know, making sure that not only are you making sure that what you're saying is getting across and understood, but that you're tailoring the experience to that person. Yeah. So if they're interested in one thing of the game, you're making sure that you know that they that that's what they're seeing. Because obviously you want to, you want to show the entire game, but if somebody is you know doesn't care about. Poker mechanics, for example, yeah. then obviously pushing that isn't going to really sell yeah. the game to them. Anyway, mac and cheese, stay in the um, chocolate. No, 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 sorry. I mean, if, it's going, if it's going we free, drink some beer. <laughs> yeah, we drink some beer and have some food, but yeah, yeah, it's been a fun day. A fun day. So cool. Um, yeah, we'll fill in more tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. On the. Uh, so <laughs> these are the guys from Troll Trader. Uh, lovely set of guys and girls. Come on, guys, say um, hi. Say hi, Troll Trader. Uh, these are the lovely people. <laughs> don't know what that was about. Um, these are lovely people who have he's let us use some. He's a lovely guy. That guy at the back, he's lovely. Those okay. two are shit, you can't These are the great guys who have given us some space on their stand to, to promote our product. So thank you. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Half day of the extras. They agree. They agree, so we're all tired. Um, I always say anything else, I have a great time for this. Oh, oh, it's been awesome. Me too. It's been great, it's been great. It's really enjoyed this. I've been playing lots and lots of movies. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's been really, really awesome. Um, so the people have reacted to it, it's been great. People seem to have really enjoyed it. Yeah, everyone who demoed it to us was really liked it. Yeah. Um, it's so a shame we didn't do more videos with when we were doing the demos. Yeah, I, I kind of wasn't sure where it was yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, I, kind of, I, I almost asked him, but yeah. I, I start when you go in the museum, yeah. and you are yeah. like, we filmed. It's like, <laughs> so I, kind of, I, I almost took photos of it. I think I'm about to say I'll take photos of demos. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I don't think mind photograph and being filmed for different things. So it's that girl said, this is the best game I've ever played. And I was like, damn, why didn't we record it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah um, well, yeah, I think maybe, maybe I'll come back today. Maybe. Um, yeah, so the point of this video is also just to talk a bit about the video itself. Yeah. Um, so, so I kind of wanted to ask you, where is it going? Without any other way of leaking. I was in, uh, before, but, as in uh, we're moving towards retail, that kind of thing? Yeah, moving in, towards retail, yeah, characters, you can, characters, yeah, characters, and like. anything you'd, you'd like to share with the internet. Oh, well, I think we've possibly leaked some things out already. Yeah. There's quite a few gnomes already on the Moonstone yeah. Players group that people will see. Yeah. So there's a few more gnomes coming. A few more fairies coming, but then we've got some quite exciting new uh, avenues. A whole new race. So a whole new race, which is going to be fawns or yep. satyrs. I'm not sure which we'll go with, but you know what I mean. Um, they're pretty cool. Uh, a new profession, kind of? Well, well it's not yeah, new, is it? quite a good deal of rogues. There's yeah. a lot of rogues coming along and a lot of synergies. I wasn't like thinking of rogues. Crossway synergy. <laughs> What's the new profession? I mean, it takes a lot of new profession. We've already got one already. We've already got one, the gob the goblin. No. Oh. <laughs> of course he is. Of course he is. <laughs> <laughs> that knowing look. Uh, 
yeah. the Pirates again. <laughs> No, they are good fun. We playtested the Pirates years ago, yeah. and uh, when we did the Kickstarter, we just didn't have enough um, capacity to keep expanding the range forever. So, so they've been on our minds yeah. for literally for the last two years. Um, so it'd be great, especially to my mind. Get that out into the project soon. Cool. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, we're, we're currently working on a web store, trying to get yeah. uh, ourselves stock levels built up again, ready to do a retail push uh, later on in the year. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Put twos in the, yep. in the pipeline. Put twos in the pipeline. Yeah. I mean, we haven't actually started writing, you know, the document yet, but the characters are definitely yeah. in progress. I'm already stewing the storyline. It's, it's the overview is penned. It's just doing the actual bulk. Yeah. And then we've uh, obviously got some new scenarios in the Yep. Well. Yeah. So um, something that you've been helping us with. <laughs> so yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, great. Alright, get on with Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Yeah. Rock on. <laughs> cool. This is Gabby. Yeah. Who came yesterday to play games. Uh, we, we really enjoyed it. We did, yeah. Um, I loved it. Okay, so uh, last bit of the video, I'm just in the car about to leave the expo. It's been great fun. I'm very tired as you can probably tell, but yeah. But it's awesome to meet the guys and just help out floating Moonstone as best we can. Uh, I think we did well. We've got a lot of demos in, a lot of people showed up interest. That's really nice. I've got a long drive back now, so I'm looking forward to seeing my family again. And uh, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to make this one short. Uh, but I just had a really nice time. So thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.